welcome to another episode of my life experiences. I'm your host, Wezi Nyanewa Sosola. On the last episode of my dating experiences part one, we had discussed a number of issues. Just some highlight. I talked about the decision that I had made for myself to get on the dating scene and find a love relationship. I also talked about the parental interference that I was facing in my quest to finding love and the deal breakers or the must-haves that I had set, I had listed it down for a potential partner. But today, guys, I just want us to delve deep and discuss how to assess a potential partner in order to determine their suitability and readiness for commitment. You know, being in a relationship is one thing and being committed to that relationship is another thing altogether. Just for example, myself, when I got into this relationship, we are all lovey-dovey, everything was going well. But after some time, I started asking myself that, am I on the same page with this guy? Does he know what I want? Because obviously, I've already expressed to you that I wanted to settle down, I wanted to get married. So I wanted to find out because I needed to know that we are on the same page with this guy. So one day when he came over, I sat him down and I posed the question. I said to him, what, your, what are your intentions in this relationship? Where are you seeing yourself in the nearest future? What is it that you want out of this relationship? Basically, that's what I asked. That Are you ready for marriage? Are you looking at getting married? Of course, as a man, when I asked that question, he was a bit hesitant to respond because he thought that I just want to pin him down. But I explained myself that, you know what, I just I don't want to pin you down. I just want to see that we are operating on the same wavelength. I want to see because I'm looking at settling down and I want to know that this relationship you are also looking at in the nearest future on settling down. So, you know, guys, it's very important to ask these questions because sometimes somebody can find themselves in a very long term open ended relationship. They don't know whether the person will marry them or not. They don't know when it will happen. So it may go up to five years, seven years, maybe getting close to 10 years. I mean, it's a waste of time. So it's very impertinent. Don't take it for granted. Ask these important questions. Sometimes girls may say that, no, I can't ask the question. I'm waiting for him to propose. Uh, if I ask him, I mean, how does he propose? I'm saying, you know what? Just ask away. If he proposes, he proposes, but at least he knows where you're at. And other people are so afraid that maybe if they ask, the guy is going to break, break up with them. But one thing that I want to say here, because you are looking at suitability and readiness for a commitment. If you don't ask, if a guy wants to break up with you, whether today or tomorrow or whenever, they'll break up with you. It doesn't matter when, whether you ask them a question or not. But if they want to break up with you, they'll break up with you. So I would rather he breaks up with me now than he pending for the next two years and he breaks up with me it will be more painful so i would rather lose him now so ask those important questions another question that you may ask is on the timeline set yourselves the timeline that what is our timeline are we looking at one year are we looking at two years because for me by the end of one year one should know whether he wants to marry you or not they should know I mean, one year is a long period of time for people to date and know each other. So you should know that uh, this relationship is getting into marriage, marriage by the end of the year. So set yourself some timelines. Of course, by setting those timelines, I'm not talk saying that they should be cast in stone. No, it's something that can be flexible. You can change depending on the circumstances and the situations. Yes, guys. Um, And sometimes, you know, People who don't want to commit usually are cheats. Maybe they are trying to make a decision between yourself and somebody else. They are trying to see where they want to go to. So they just give you enough to hook you and make you stay in that relationship. But for somebody who truly loves you, 
they would not leave you guessing. They have to express themselves to you. And if they da do that, you, have, you, you, you know that this person is really suitable and ready for a commitment. Another thing that I want to say is that if somebody is not ready to express themselves to you, break up with them, get out, run, run, run from that relationship. That's not a place to stay. And also the places where the times when you must run from a relationship is when it's, there's abuse, when there is manipulation, when the, there is cheating, all these red flags that you may see. Trust your instincts. Any slight abuse, it will not get better. It will just get worse. Any slight manipulation, any slight cheating, it will never get better. It will just get worse. So make sure that you look out for these red flags. And if they are there, run. Make a run for your dear life. And you know what? When you get out of this relationship, that's when God can also open some more doors for you. You will be able to see clearly and look for some other beautiful or handsome guys out there to get committed to. Of course, most of the times when you want to manipulate people, what they do, if you want to break up with them, they may try to put you down, to talk bad about you, maybe saying that who else would want to get to be with you? Um, nobody would want to marry you. Um, you're not even beautiful. Who would want to be with you? That's what manipulative people do. So, but just hold, hold yourself with the highest esteem. Put yourself, um, hold yourself in the high regard because God is saying in his word in Isaiah 43 verse 4 that you are precious and you are created in his image and no one should put you down. Saying such things like Anga Ufune Nindindani, who else would want to marry you? You are not even beautiful. No one should say that because you are created in the image of God and you are precious in his eyes. So just to know, hold yourself in the high regard. Don't put yourself down. Trust and believe in yourself. Yes, guys. And I just want also to, to highlight that for you to know if somebody is in a commitment, especially for you as a Christian, don't give somebody the benefits of a marriage. Don't give them marital benefits. Like, for example, conjugal rights, benefits like washing up for him, cooking for him. You know, there are so many women who are just in a relationship, but they give a guy all the benefits that usually they tend to, they tend to a marriage. They just give a guy or a woman who they are not, not yet gotten into marriage with. That's the biggest mistake that you can make because if somebody is getting all the benefits from you before marriage, why would they want to marry you? So just be on the lookout. If somebody is forcing you to get into sexual relations with you, otherwise they would break up with you or to get it for you to be doing all the cleanups, the washing for them when you are, they are not yet committed to you, that's a red flag. Just say bye bye. I'm not getting into a relationship with you because it. I'm not getting into um, to continue into the, this relationship with you because it just shows that they are not suitable for you. They are not ready to get committed. Otherwise, if they want to those benefits, they have to make it official. They have to go into the official channel and take you into their home to be their wife or for you to be their husband. That's how it works. And also. Last but not least, as a Christian, I just want to advise you to avoid very long-term relationships because usually you, you want to stay pure before God and very long-term relationship comes with so many temptations because we are human beings and we are prone, prone to all these temptations because we've got all these feelings. So if you want to stay pure, if you don't want to get involved in these sexual relations, just make sure that you have to, to keep your relationship as brief as possible. Maybe by nine months, six months, not more than two years, you should be able to, to settle down and get, on, get into to marriage with the person. So yes, guys, that's what I want to discuss uh, about the suitability and readiness for marriage. I hope that has been an eye-opener to somebody. One um, verse that I would like to share with you tonight is from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. 
it's saying that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and it comes from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning so believe god for your perfect soulmate he'll give you a perfect soulmate because every good gift every perfect gift comes from above from the father of lights he doesn't change he's always the same he's blessed he's blessed other people before and he can bless you also just to believe in him and he'll give you a perfect perfect soulmate james 1 verse 17 so that is it guys about assessing a potential partner for suitability and readiness for marriage i hope it's been helpful to somebody thank you so much for all the time you give me watching all the episodes that I, I, I bring to you, I would really appreciate if you do leave your comment in the comment section be, below. I would like to, to know if um, uh, you if, if this episode is of any benefit at all to you. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button to like this channel and also to share with your friends. Thank you so much guys. I really appreciate you. Stay blessed. Oh, do be, do be.